Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How does probate affect different types of property ownership? Sole ownership. In sole ownership, the property is held by a single individual or entity. When the owner passes away, the property must go through probate, which is the legal process of settling the estate. This can be time consuming and costly. However, since there are no co-owners, decision-making and management of the property are simpler during the owner's lifetime. Joint tenancy involves two or more people owning a property together with rights of survivorship. A key benefit of joint tenancy is that it avoids probate. When one joint tenant dies, their share of the property automatically transfers to the remaining joint tenants. To establish a joint tenancy, specific requirements must be met, including equal ownership percentages, shared interest in the entire property, and simultaneous establishment of joint tenancy through the same legal instrument. Five. Tenancy in common. Tenancy in common is another form of joint ownership where multiple parties share the property, but there are no rights of survivorship. When a tenant in common dies, their share of the property does not automatically pass to the other owners. Instead, it becomes part of the deceased's estate and must go through probate. This means that the share will be distributed according to the deceased's will or state laws, and it may involve legal intervention. Trust ownership. Property held in a trust can also avoid probate. In a trust, a trustee manages the property on behalf of the beneficiaries. When the trust's creator, the settler, passes away, the property can be transferred to the beneficiaries without going through probate, as the trust is a separate legal entity that continues to exist beyond the settler's death. This provides a way to manage, protect, and pass on assets efficiently. Tenancy by the entirety. Tenancy by the entirety is a form of joint ownership available only to married couples and in some states, domestic partners. Similar to joint tenancy, property owned in tenancy by the entirety passes to the surviving spouse without going through probate. This form of ownership ensures that the property remains protected from the creditors of the deceased spouse and automatically transfers to the surviving spouse. In summary, the impact of probate varies significantly depending on the type of property ownership. Sole ownership and tenancy in common typically require probate upon the death of an owner, while joint tenancy and tenancy by the entirety allow for automatic transfer of property without probate. Trust ownership also provides a mechanism to avoid probate. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below and feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.